It has been over 7 months since the RX 7900 XT and XTX were launched and the RX 7800 and 7700 series graphics cards are still nowhere to be seen. Fortunately, I have good news for those of you who have been waiting for these AMD GPUs to arrive. According to the latest leaks, AMD plans to reveal them at Gamescom 2023 at the end of August, with an actual product launch planned for September. In this video, I will share everything we know about these upcoming AMD graphics cards, including their specifications, prices and performance compared to other currently available GPUs. But first, CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. AMD has identified a total of 4 GPU configurations they can use to fill in the rest of the RX 7000 series lineup. One, based on AMD's largest GPU chip codenamed Navi31 and three more based on the mid-range Navi32 chip. The Navi 31 based graphics card features 70 compute units, 16 GB of memory and TDP around 260 watts. Other three GPU configurations are based on the Navi 32. The first one uses the fully enabled Navi 32 chip featuring 60 compute units, 16 GB of memory and 260 watt TDP. The second utilizes a cut down version of Navi 32 chip featuring 54 compute units, 12 GB of memory and 245 Watt TDP. The third configuration features 48 compute units, 12 GB of memory and TDP around 240 Watts or less. According to the latest leak, AMD is considering to release just two new graphics cards in September, both based on the Navi 32. Those are the 60 compute unit 16 GB RX 7800 and the 12 GB RX 7700 with either 54 or 48 compute units. At this time, I am not sure which configuration AMD will end up choosing for the RX 7700. The names may also change before launch. However, if AMD decides to stick with these names, then it opens up an opportunity for the company to launch a Navi 31 based RX 7800 XT or RX 7900, featuring 70 compute units. This GPU would use the worst Navi 31 yields, and since there are not many of them available, the supply of such a graphics card would be very limited, hence why AMD wants to launch it later, once they've accumulated more of these chips. A quiet launch similar to what they did with the RX 6700 non-XT is very likely for this card. Additionally, if AMD decides to use the 54 compute unit Navi 32 chip in the RX 7700 card, then we may see an RX 7600 XT featuring 48 compute units and 12 GB of memory launch at some point in the future. The fact that AMD plans to release graphics cards named RX 7800 and RX 7700 is corroborated by the recently leaked TimeSpy benchmark screenshots. I cannot confirm if the screenshots are genuine, but the benchmark score is pretty much what I expect to see from these GPUs. Speaking of the expectations, here are my calculation results which indicate where the upcoming AMD GPUs may land in the gaming performance chart compared to the currently available graphics cards. For clarity, I've used the GPU codenames, but if the above naming scheme is indeed correct, then it is clear that the RX 7800 is designed to compete with the RTX 4070, and the RX 7700 is meant to compete with the RTX 4060 Ti, either bidding or matching its performance depending on the Navi32 configuration AMD decides to go with for this graphics card. Now let's talk about prices. AMD appears to be uncertain of what it is doing with the RX 7000 series prices. This is indicated by the fact that the RX 7900 XTX and XT launched with prices higher than the market expected. Later, AMD reduced the prices of both GPUs. 
the RX 7600 suffered a similar fate, launching with a $270 price tag. Now it can be found selling below the MSRP every now and then. That is despite the fact that AMD initially planned to make the RX 7600 price much higher, but they changed their mind last minute just before launch, causing a wave of confusion amongst the reviewers who had to make changes to their reviews at the last minute. Basically, AMD executives are trying their best to follow Nvidia's ridiculous high price trend only to back down several weeks later and reduce prices to get people to buy their new GPUs. A strange strategy, no doubt fueled by the increasing desire to keep profit margins as high as they were during the era of GPU crypto mining over the past 8 years or so. But the times have changed, and the GPU makers are failing to adapt to the new reality. Taking all of the above into consideration, I expect the RX 7700 price to be in the range of $350 to $450, and the RX 7800 around $500 to $600. These prices are not great, and I expect AMD to once again struggle to move the inventory at such high prices. The community has proven time and time again that we are not going to buy overpriced GPUs in 2023. The same as with previous graphics card launches, we may see the RX 7700 and the RX 7800 prices start dropping in a month or two after launch. So, I recommend being patient if you want to save some money. Also, if AMD will indeed decide to go with such pricing strategy, then I'd like to point out that you had a chance to own and enjoy a graphics card with a comparable level of performance for around the same price for many months now. I am talking about the last gen RX 6000 series cards, which have been selling well below MSRP for months. The 16GB RX 6800 XT or the 12GB RTX 4070 are the best alternatives you can get to play games at 1440p resolution. I will leave some links to Nvidia and AMD graphics cards you can buy now in the description below just in case you decide not to wait for the RX 7800 and 7700. Now I would like to invite you to cast your vote in the comments. What price would you pay for the RX 7800 and RX 7700 graphics cards? Hopefully people over at AMD will see your opinion and decide to price the cards more fairly. Otherwise I am afraid that we are headed for yet another disappointing GPU launch. This has been a recurring theme in the past year. Maybe it is best to skip this generation entirely? If you have such thoughts, then check out my video about the next generation of NVIDIA graphics cards. It should be on your screen now, ready to be clicked. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then reward it with a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.